Hello, uh, welcome to From Depths, uh, where today I would like to share with you a way how to how you can build a ship hulls that uh, look at, at least halfway decent. Uh, so let's jump into designer mode. Okay, so first thing, we're gonna we are gonna decide what. Uh, how big the cross section of the ship we are building is gonna be that is the width and the height now that we have the cross section built we are gonna build the top shape top down shape of the hull basically the pa the, the circumference of the of the ship also for the cross section the ships look best if they are if, they, if the cross section looks something like this that is uh, like under square not quite a square cross, cross section but if you don't want to use uh, propels to help your ship with buoyancy you might w you might need to build the hull maybe like this so it actually floats by itself but it doesn't look uh, really good so I'm gonna keep it that way okay so now I'm gonna build the top down uh, shape of the ship i'm gonna keep it smaller because it otherwise it's gonna take uh, take forever okay now that the top down shape of the ship is is done we're gonna create the sloped front now the way we're gonna do that is by taking first corners and going around the the circumference of the ship and placing the corners below the slope slope blocks After that we're gonna use the inverters to fill up the gaps. And we're gonna repeat. Now we're gonna repeat this step uh, all the way to the waterline of the ship. Now since this ship is not very large, wait there's a mistake somewhere. Okay. Now because this ship is not very big the water line is gonna be like three blocks three meters under the deck which means that uh, like this this is already done the water line will be here okay so now I will use slowed blocks to make the side of the hull basically taller because otherwise it will meet in the middle really quickly and then continue like before all right so this this is basically the front slope done this is this will be the visible side this the like the water line will be here, but also this this will be also be visible. So th that's it. That's the visible part of the front slope done. Now what, what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna bring the bottom reference to the front because I don't really know where the bottom is. So just like that, and I'm gonna build like a side shape of the hull, which. I want I'm gonna go for something like something like this and just fill it okay and now I'm gonna use the slope blocks to bring the point all the way down and use the corners to connect it to the bottom okay so this is the tip done now what uh, what we need to do is uh, uh, let me just show you 
not really visible. We're gonna basically continue this uh, angle, these angles, all the way to the to the sides until it's flush with the sides. And how we're gonna do that by using the inverter blocks and always placing them at the like at the corner at the angle, and then using the triangles to and the slopes to connect it. Now since this block is already flush with the side, I'm not gonna do this. Otherwise it would it would make the ship wider of course than I want. Even though you know you can do this maybe. It all depends on the kind of style you want to go for. Okay, now the side is flush with the with how the deck or how the top-down shape was built. Now you, you can see that I reached the point where the where the hull gets wider, and this time I'm not gonna use um, like the blocks like before. I'm gonna just make it wider, like this, and I'm gonna connect it at the bottom. That's, I'm basically doing that because I don't want this uh, kind of this curve to carry all the way here. This is a different section. This, this, is, this I want this already flat. Okay, now I'm just gonna fill up the the flat spaces. This is the front basically done. We will make some changing changes, but now let's work on the back. Okay, so we will start basically the, the very same way with it on the front. So I'm gonna take the corners, then the inverted blocks, and then the corner, the inverted block, and connect it with with slopes. Okay, so I have built the slope in the back and then brought it brought it forward until it's flush with the deck or with the deck with the top down shape. The very same way we did it in the at the top in the, the, in the forward section. And I also brought down the reference and built uh, this uh, side angle or side shape. So it doesn't really matter how you build it. This is completely only to so it looks good. Alright, so what's gonna be different now? Well, I'm not gonna continue continue the way we did before. Also, I built it three blocks down because I just think it looks better right like that. So we're not gonna do the slopes all the way to the bottom like before. We're actually gonna take uh, flat blocks and fill up some of this space. Also, let me just finish this. And what, we're, what we now want to do is uh, make it so that uh, right here is uh, we left the space for propellers, basically. If you if you recall how like a realist, realistic how design looks the propellers propellers are of always below the hull and like somewhere here and then the rudder screw right below here not never they are like behind the ship which you have usually you often have to have to build in front of that so if you don't build the hull accordingly so we need this uh, area free for the propellers so what we're gonna do we're gonna build basically the same same curve as this but we're gonna make it a bit uh, sharper and we're gonna shift it to the front so it's gonna be like this 
and there will be the space for the propolis. So I'm gonna take slope. I'm gonna start maybe here and gradually build it so it gradually joins the outer curve like that. So there are no holes. Alright, now I'm gonna take this curve and I'm gonna take this curve to, to all the way to the bottom. And fill out this space. And now um, I, all there's left to do is to join the the bottoms part of the hull to the basically to the bottom of the ship. So just once again triangles, inverters, and rinse and repeat. Like this. All right. Oh uh, yeah. Also, you know, uh, of course, the rest of the rest of the hull as well, because now it's actually one curve and it splits right here. And now I'm just gonna fill out the flat space. Okay, so this is the hull so far. I think that the front looks quite good, but uh, and the back will also look good with the propolis, I think. But this huge flat sp s side doesn't look particularly good. So we're gonna we need to add something to break it up a little bit, and what we can do is we can create something like armor belt and what we're gonna do is we're gonna basically find one of these edges and just continue it like this okay then basically add layer to the whole side Also, I just want to say I recommend, or it's uh, it's really good to use as much horizontal blocks and not vertical as possible for the paint job, basically, because we need clear lines if we want to paint the uh, the hull. Okay, so this this the armor belt. I think this looks much better. It breaks breaks up the the flat side and adds this bulge, and I think it looks really good. Okay, so. And now I'm gonna add just just add the propolis. Okay, also, I'm gonna fix this back, just like this. Now I will add the propolis.
like this. Okay, so may maybe this this curve doesn't look particularly good, but I'm gonna leave it now. Okay. So I believe, yeah, this is basically done. Now one more thing we can we can add is that uh, this deck is now really flat, and just as, just as with the side, uh, if we break it up a little bit, I think it's gonna look much better. So we're just gonna find find a point, and we're gonna. Yeah, maybe here. It's completely up to you. How do you think it will look the best to, to choose the point where to make the deck higher? Like this. And also in the back. Now I'm gonna actually start in the middle. I'm cu curious as to how it will look like. Maybe, man, it doesn't look like, doesn't look too good. Probably here will be better. Anyway, so yeah, and that's it basically. That's the hull done. So I, I think this way is really, really good because it's uh, like straightforward, even though it definitely takes a uh, longer time than just building really basic hull. Uh, there's like, you can, you just have to follow the principle, right? Once you build the top-down shape, all these curves and all these uh, edges are basically already defined. You just have to follow the principle. Alright, so this is the hull finished and painted. Yeah, the <laughs> this curve really doesn't look very good. Whatever. <laughs> okay, so that's all. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, uh, ask in the comments. I plan on making more tutorials for this game because there's just so much thing to do. So maybe I will include it in the following tutorial. So that's all. See you later.